Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about PassPass. PassPass is a way to patch a DLL in Windows so that it won't require you to enter a local Windows account password. Now this won't work on a UEFI booting system only. So if you can only boot via UEFI, you can't boot to easy to boot. Um, and run Grub for DOS. Uh, and it won't boot for Microsoft accounts. Uh, so if you use an email account for Windows login, it won't work. And it won't work on domain accounts. So it patches a file directly on Windows. So you need to remember to unpatch it after you've finished. So here's how to set it up on Easy to Boot. So first of all, make sure you've got the latest version of Easy to Boot, which has the version of PassPass in it for Windows 10. Um, and then go to the ISO folder and then Docs and you should see a, a folder called PassPass and inside there you'll see the files that you need so the bit easiest thing to do is just copy the whole folder so right click on that and copy and then copy that into one of your menu folders I use the utilities folder you could put it in the main menu folder if you prefer and just paste it in so I've got a virtual machine set up which has actually got two um, partitions with Windows 7 on one and Windows 10 on the other. So I'm going to boot the virtual machine and you'll see how PassPass works. So here's the virtual machine and I'm going to go to the utilities menu. And you can see we have got a new entry here, bypass the Windows password. And it's detected the two versions of Windows that I've got on my system. Uh, Windows 10 or Windows 7. So I'll go for the Windows 10 version. So the options here are to back up the file. Now this backs up a file to passpass.back, which is on the USB drive. And now we can patch the DIL. And it tells you here what the patch is. And just press enter when it's finished. Sometimes there's more than one location that it patches. But don't worry if it says that, just, just press enter to continue. Right, now we can boot to the uh, OS. So let's just boot from the internal hard disk. And so you can see the two options I've got. So we boot to Windows 10. So normally there's a um, password, but I can just press enter and it'll take us straight in without a password. And the, the best thing to do on here is to go to um, control panel So I just had an account here. That's it. So I set up an account called New. Make sure you change the account type to Administrator. And now we can quit this. And reboot. So we go to Easy to Boot again. Go to the Utilities menu, Windows 10, and we'll unpatch the file. And we could, if you like, just restore the file. And then we can boot from the 
hard disk again. And this time, go in. Just a new user. We now have full admin access to that account. Now I should warn you, if you're going to do this on your own computer, um, you may lose things like um, cookies and some passwords, etc. on your account. So um, I should only do this in an emergency situation.